Well, good morning, everybody. It's great to be here today with you. We've got a great morning planned, some great stories. Uh, and as we get started this morning, the, the topic of the day is simple. Just one word, simple. And here's what I would encourage you to do. And I would, would ask you to do as we, as we start listening to the stories this morning is if you would, as you think about what does, re, what does doing Relive Simple mean to you, if you would, write that in the chat. And we're going to come back and talk about that in just a little bit. But as always, the first thing I love to start with is stories. And, you know, guys, we've got three incredible stories we're going to share today. And let's just go right to the health stories. And Kim Elzia, would you come on and share your story? Absolutely. I'm trying to get my video on. There we go. Hi, everyone. Thank you for asking me to speak. When, Mindy, I appreciate it. So I got on Relive when I was 59 years old. I am 64. I had uh, an autoimmune. I'm allergic to gluten, dairy, wheat, and soy. And my hair was falling out. I couldn't sleep. I would have to fall out of bed and pull myself up. The brain fog was insane. I don't know how I held a job. But after two shakes, I had my body, I think my body was so run down, I felt immediately better. All my little aches and pains went away. Fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis runs in my family. And my cousin is almost bedridden with both of those. And I, I said, no way. So um, I got relief with plantar fasciitis, sciatica that I had had for eight years and didn't think that there was ever any way out of it. I just figured I'd have to suffer. I remember wrapping my son's Christmas presents one time on one knee screaming i was in so much pain um i lost weight within the first week and a half i actually sat on the couch and said what's different something's going on i said oh yeah i'm not eating after dinner i always wanted a starch and a chocolate and i quit that i lost 15 pounds pretty quickly and what else there's just so much my eyesight got better i am back on the reverse age and i noticed the fine little wrinkles and lines are starting to soften up and my makeup goes on smoother. It's everything is just differently. And at six, four years old, I am working my real estate business. I am doing contract nine to five jobs and bartending at night. And if I didn't have relive, none of this would be happening. So thank you. <laughs> awesome. I love the smile on your face. <laughs> thank you, Kim. Thank you guys. I got to jump off. Good luck. Okay. Have fun today. I and let's go, let's go up to Snowy, Maine, and Melanie Hines, would you come on and share with us? Sure. Hey, Jim, how are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, are you asking for my health story or my business story? Definitely your health story first. Okay. Well, guys, when I found Relive, I was really tired and sick. I was 34 years old. I'd been suffering with irritable bowel syndrome, chronic constipation, acid reflux. It landed me in the hospital. They thought I was having a heart attack. They put me on medications that made the IBS worse, the chest pain worse, didn't even touch anything, didn't make anything better. And I prayed for answers. And I was introduced to the person who introduced me to Relive. And I will always thank them for introducing me to these products. In two weeks, I had more energy. In three months, I was symptom free of the IBS the constipation the acid reflux was able to work with my doctors got off my medications my body just started healing itself and now i've been on it over 20 years it'll be 21 years in about six months and i'm so excited because now i have the freedom with food that i've never had in my whole entire life and i just love the healing power of these the products allowed my body to heal i'm at a level where i can pretty much eat anything i want now i don't suggest that unless you've been on it a long time but i just love my life i love my energy my husband's a firefighter he goes 24-hour shifts and it's because of these products and i will always be on them that's awesome. And Melanie, we can all see that you are not excited. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Your enthusiasm. Don't ever let go of it. Oh, I never do. I love sharing it with people. So they, yeah. they love it too. You know, I'm just excited. Awesome. You know, and see guys, as we, I love to start with the health stories first, because I believe that's where everything in real starts because the products are the core. Be, and, and, you know, anybody 
who has done relive long term has been extremely passionate about the results they've received on these products. And what happens then when people are passionate? You can see it in Melanie's face. You saw it in Kim's face. The excitement of just feeling good, feeling alive, thriving, being, being a part of life again. And what happens? What happens then is people can't keep quiet and people start telling other people because the products work. And so we have to, another side to relive. We have the side of what happens to your health when you take these products. We have the side that what happens to your financial stability when you start sharing with other people. And you know, the, here's the great thing is that as you share with other people, as you give first, then you are rewarded. And so we're gonna share some of this about the business and what happens there. Melanie, if you'd go first. Oh, okay, great. I'd love to share. Well, I used to be in corporate finance. I made a healthy six-figure income, but I was sick. I'd worked in sick buildings. I was just tired, exhausted. I took a year off. I found the Relive. I found the products. And I started just naturally sharing with my friends. I had more energy. They started. I made, you know, $500,000 my first few months. And I just developed a passion for helping people make money. Um, God had moved us to Maine. We live in Maine. Most people here work three jobs, barely get by. The average median income here is only $30,000 a year. And especially in times like this, the business thrives because people are looking for ways to work from home. And so I just started sharing my passion. I love helping people make money. I can't help it. I'm a financial person, helped corporations for years. I've developed a passion for helping individual citizens make money, especially in high inflationary times where the taxes are high because it, you know I'm, I'm a former CPA. So it's just a natural fit for me. My passion for the business grew. My husband decided to join me in the business because we like the freedom. We're redoing our kitchen right now. And I just love the freedom this business provides. I became an ambassador, traveled all around the world, loved Love these people love traveling with these people and i just will always be sharing the business opportunity with people because it's the best way to get your tax money back amen hey absolutely <laughs> hey great idea i love that i love that melanie you just stay with me and you you just be thinking about what does doing relive simple mean to you because i'm gonna come back here in just a little bit and ask you okay 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 well let's go to tom ty and T tom would you share with us today Sure, just let me catch my breath there from listening to Melanie. She is uh, so dull, isn't she? <laughs> you know, um, when we got introduced to Relive, it was through a, a business colleague. And, and at the time, I was uh, actually looking for a, a business or a way to bring extra income to our household because my wife and I wanted to allow her to step away from her career as a physical therapist and uh, put our four kids through uh, Christian school, starting at kindergarten through the 12th grade. Um, I'm an aerospace engineer by background, and uh, that's what brought us to Dayton, Ohio, uh, many years ago. But um, that's kind of where we were at. And I was actually looking for something for my wife's health as well. We got introduced to Relive and loved the products. It took care of uh, allergy issues I had, and I have not been on an allergy shot now for what, 29 years, I guess, since I've been on Relive. And uh, love that aspect of it. Um, stress headaches are gone, thing of the past. Uh, I sleep better, wake up more refreshed, have more energy throughout the day. I'm constantly asked by, by people I work around that, you know, how old are you really? Because you don't look like you're 66 years old. And um, so I love that. Um, Relive business-wise, we got started part-time for us about 15 hours a week. I love the fact that you could build a business and then you could build, make a residual income and pass on to your family, something I cannot do with an engineering income. So we began uh, just sharing with people and uh, we're consistent with that. And that first year made $56,000 with this company. Uh, it continued to grow and and got to the point, you know, we reached the level of ambassador. Um, the, the income of my real business was actually rivaling my income as an engineer. So I took advantage of an early uh, out. They called it uh, an early retirement, which I exercised. At that time, my boys were playing high school um, sports, uh, baseball, basketball, golf. And um, and the coach of the, of the baseball program knew me from Little League. I coached Little League for 11 years with the three boys that I have and really enjoyed that. And they lost a faculty member who, who was uh, their assistant baseball coach and also the assistant 
a golf coach and he asked if I could step in while they were looking for a replacement and I jumped at the opportunity. So I got to be out there with the varsity squad all dressed up and having a great time with the kids. Hopefully my boys enjoyed it as well, but uh, baseball and golf are two sports I really enjoy, so it was a great fun for me. We've enjoyed the traveling. We've been on many trips with Free Live, love teaching, love to share with people. My wife's a fantastic teacher, and we love doing this business together. Uh, it's something that couples can do together, and that's not always the case. So it's true, proven to be a great income for us and, and allowed us to have the freedom to do what we want to do. Uh, today, I do some consulting back at the air base for a laboratory where I used to work. I enjoy that interaction with young engineers and keep my fingers in the pie, so to speak. And as long as they'll, uh, I'm having fun and they're paying me, I'll, I'll probably continue doing that. But uh, love relive and it'd be, always be our passion. Oh, isn't that great, Tom? The 66 years young. There you and, go. Yeah, 66 years young, being able to do what you want to do. And, and I can tell by the smile on your face, you'll love it. So, well, Tom, you, you, you be thinking, Tom, about what does doing relip simple mean to you because i'm gonna come back to you here in just a little bit too okay well i want to thank melanie and and tom and and kim for sharing you know guys here's the thing we all have to remember is that you know at relive we can't make any claims or cures or healings on the products we can't make any claims about a person's potential income because everything everything that we've shared with you today revolves around one word and consistency if you're consistent taking the products, you're going to get results. If you're consistent doing the business, you're going to get results. You're going to help people. And through helping other people, you're going to be rewarded. You're going to earn some income. But, you know, the topic today is simple. And what we've seen so far in today's training is simple. We heard Kim share her story. We heard Melanie share her story. We heard... Melanie and, and Tom shared their stories about the business. Guys, that's a little bit about how simple doing Relive is. But I'd like to just jump right back to Melanie now. And Melanie, if you would, as you think about the word simple, as you're doing your Relive business, what does that mean to you? And how do you do Relive in a simple way? I'm glad you asked that, Jim, because it is the simplest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, because, well, I like, this is a coffee cup, right? I used to go to the local coffee shop and I would just meet people. It's really simple. And I love people. So I would just develop relations with people over time. And then as my business developed, I realized there was easier ways to do it. I could find people uh, that were looking for home-based businesses. And I talked to them. I put cards on gas pumps. You want to make more money? You know, it was really pretty simple. They call an 800 number. They hear a little bit of like a snippet of recording. That was back then. Then things changed, right? We had a pandemic. Well, then I went online and I started helping people understand compensation plans. And I built a, I built, I built trust with people because I was helping them with the most important thing during the shutdown, which was their money. And so as I did that and I kept it simple, Hey, this is, this is when you can expect this. This is when you can, this is how you do the EIDL, the PPP. I started sharing it for business owners, how, whether you take the EIDL or PPP, because I used to be a corporate finance person and that was complicated, but I made it simple for people. So they started subscribing, they started following. And then I started, then after they trusted me, I didn't go right in. I started just taking my shake while I was talking to them. I kept it simple. Now I do coffee and conversations on faith and finances every morning. I drink my coffee. I'm sharing with a group of people in the chat. People are saying, hey, I love that orange energize. Hey, I love these Rela products. I've never felt better. And it just, it's become a community of people taking Relive that just love to share and chat live every morning on YouTube. It's just, it's just fun. I have yet to get a Zoom room. I've got a I've got a conference with somebody from Australia today. Uh, financially, I'm helping people, you know, but while I'm doing that, I'm also helping them get their health back and I'm sharing the tax benefits. I swear it's tax season. I got taxes on the brain. And my husband makes a lot of money between he, working at the fire department and L.L. Bean. I get his tax dollars back. So inflation doesn't bother me because my tax deductions go up with the inflation. So I'm explaining that to people how inflation helps your business right? It can be a good thing. So I keep it. I know it. that's complicated. The CPA part is complicated, 
But when it comes to the shakes, I just shake it up every day. And I'm like, this is the simplest thing. And if you're confused or you think you can't do it, just tell people to come on here, get in the chat, tell, tell me you have somebody on and I will share my story. So it's just, I keep it simple and I like being live with people. And obviously I'm good on camera, you know, and I'm not as intimidating on camera as I am at the coffee shop because I'm six feet tall. So on camera, I look the same size as everybody else. So it's easier for me to not be so intimidating when I'm coming through on the screen. So I keep it simple. I love to go live. I'm just doing coffee with more than one person. Yeah, cool. Wow. So, so how did you, what, what process, what did you go through to figure all that out? What worked for best for you? Uh, well, it's persistence and it's consistency. Yeah. Right? I started yeah. doing five to 10 minute videos, just my thoughts of the day, how to be happier, how to be healthier. Every once in a while, I talk about relive and I'd load it up. But then it progressed and I was going Facebook Live. I ended up growing my Facebook family um, from 800 to almost 5,000. I just grew it. I grew Facebook and I love doing Facebook Lives. And then God literally told me to do YouTube in 2019. And so I did, I got on YouTube and started learning that. It's just a process over time, but you gotta keep it simple with whatever it is you like. I like helping people be happy and who's can be happy that's sick and tired. And they feel my energy because I'm on the Relive products for 20 years. So they feel my energy, they need the energy, they need the positivity because the world has gone crazy. So I say, if you have fear, come here. If you have fear, come here. I keep it simple. If you have fear, come here and do coffee with me every morning. We'll chat about your faith and your finances. And so I'm using my former experience to help people. And at the same time, as they learn that I'm just trying to, I share truth, facts, and optimism every day. Truth, facts, and optimism. I don't talk about the government because they shut me down. My channel went down. Like, you can't talk about that. But I can wear an America's hat because I love my country. I love the freedom. And I'm all about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I share that with abandon and people are responding to that because I don't like tyranny. So that's all I can say about that. But we're on a Zoom, right? I've learned to censor my words. Censorship is real. And so I've learned to stay up and it's been a nice challenge for me, like barrel racing, right? It's like, I learned to stay up and make the algorithms like me. I tell people to unsubscribe, subscribe. It's just, it's fun for me. It's a challenge to go against the tyranny and help people be free, help people get some of those tax dollars back that they don't like where it's going. You don't like where your tax dollars are going? Come join me in business. We'll get your taxes back so you can spend it, right? Uh, it's just the way, you know, I keep, I use all circumstances to our good. You know, God, the good book says, all things work together for the good to those who are called who love God and are called according to his purpose. And I take that seriously. So I'm using it, all this stuff to my good to benefit humanity, people by helping nourish the temple. And now with everything going on, I said, you guys know your foods are toxic, right? Look at what happened in Ohio. I mean, I talk about this stuff in the mornings. I talk about the truth of what's going on and then relate it back to why you need to shake your shakes. Last yeah. night at the Margaritas and Mysteries, I do that at night, keep it simple, it's fun. We talk about all the mysteries going on. Like, you know, did he really just say that? Like, we talk about stuff without getting my channel removed and I, I will shake up my shake. And I'll say, hey, I do this before bed. Oh, here's reverse age. This is what I drink right before bed. And this is how I'm 57. And then I show them no surgery. I keep it simple. Yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> fun. I just make it fun. I keep it simple, fun, light, and people love the entertainment value. I'm entertaining. Can you tell? Yeah. Yep. So, Thank you, Melanie. You're okay. awesome. You're awesome. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. You are too. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Well, let's go to Tom. You know, Tom, as, as you think about doing Relive in your way and doing Relive Simple, what does that mean to you? And how do you do Relive Simple? Uh, that's a great question, Jim, because, uh, you know, engineers are notoriously um, people that like to make things complicated that should be simple. And uh, when I'll, I'll tell you a, a truism, when we started our business, you know, I, I, acquired, I tried to engineer it. And uh, so the first 35 folks that I spoke with d d said no, and uh, no in certain terms. And I had to sit down and ask myself, what am I doing wrong? Because, you know, this, I sat down for a weekend and went over the marketing plan and drew it out different ways and said, this marketing plan is simple. This worked. 
worked. It's very powerful. I know the products worked. I've been using them. So I, I realized that the message I was giving was, was just too much, too complicated. So I found that this, it's a messaging issue for my mind. Keep it simple. And reality is, is that these products will never let you down. You will feel better if you take these products than if you don't take these products. And you know what? Because these products are that good, you have a possible business. So I, so I realize people are only going to ask a couple of quick questions. You know, they're in their mind. They're thinking, will these products work if I take them and, uh, and if my friends take them? And if I got involved with you in the business, uh, can I do this easy? Um, you know, I don't understand all the complicated things. Maybe you know, but can I do this? And so the reality is, I don't get into into issues with with ingredients or that kind of thing. All I tell them is that you know what, I take this thing called Classic. I take it twice a day. I mix it with this thing called Energize, and this is what happened to me. Um, pure and simple. You know, the company makes it that's sealed when I receive the can, it's that's how simple it is. And you know what? Let me show you how simple the business is. So when I share the, when I invite you to look at a business, I, you know, I, I break people into a couple of categories. Uh, those that I'm, that I'm talking to specifically about a business opportunity and those that I know are looking for a, a health, uh, a health help, uh, if you will, help with their health. I'll, I'll learn to talk one of these days. Anyway, uh, and so I, I can take a piece of piece of, of uh, printer paper uh, and simply uh, on a, one side share a, a simple way the business works to give people an insight on that. And then I pull up a can of classic and say, this is what drives that business. This is what happened to me. And if you take this, I know you're going to find, find some results and we'll work together. People like the fact that they're part of a team and have someone to coach them along the way. And so we keep it that simple. And for me, keeping it simple also is try to release stress. So I, uh, for me, in my life, trying to and, and, uh, work around four children and a wife and work and things that are going on, we start our business, um, it, it, it could become very stressful very quickly. And so when I sat down and said, I'm going to put myself to work at just a couple hours in the evening, I, I had to put it down a couple hours that fit in my family's schedule with, um, you know, having dinner, helping with homework, all those kind of things you do as a parent. And that made it really less, much less stressful. It became fun. Just, just work those hours, and then you're done, and uh, and go from there. So that's kind of some ways I keep it simple. And and today I just when I meet people, um, I'm, I uh, don't have a blog like like Melanie's doing. So I do, but I do bump into people. And I gave you a story the other day that happened to me. I was walking down the hall at work. I mentioned I was, I'm still mentoring uh, some folks and doing some consulting. So I passed by a couple of younger guys and, and uh, said hello. And they invited me into their conversation that they were having. And they were discussing energy drinks. And one of the guys was saying how he was looking for energy drinks for his afternoon mm -hmm. lag time. And he said, Tom, I'm taking this drink. Have you ever heard of it? You know, and he started rattling off ingredients. He goes, you know, would you try something like that? I said, well, I probably wouldn't. So I have my own energy drink with my company that I like really well. And he goes, you do? I said, yeah. He goes, what's it, what's it called? I said, it's called Energize Go. And uh, it's a wonderful drink. And uh, he goes, I didn't know you had a, that. I said, I do. He goes, I'd like to learn more. Can you tell me where I can go to get some? I said, get it from me. So uh, he said, great. So I gave him, you know, some samples and uh, we'll be following up. So, you know, things happen like that and, and you have to just keep it simple. And uh, so that's what I try to do. Not, not overwhelm people um, because I've been there, done that. doesn't work. That's awesome. Now, Tom, you said something that's really interesting and that I believe that probably every person on this call struggled with in their early days and maybe even still today still struggle with it and you spoke about you 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 were bold enough and honest enough to to share with us that you in the early days you shared with 35 people they said no but then there was something that happened with you that you were strong enough and wise enough and humble enough that you looked at what tom was doing what was that process you went through to look at what you had done with those first 35 people to say, okay, this is not working. What do I, Tom, need to do differently to get the results that I'm after? What, what caused you, what was inside of you that got you to do that? Well, I had, I had a dream. I had, I had a goal in mind, and I'm sure that was the goal was to, to find a way to put our kids into Christian school, 
long-term help with college expenses. Uh, turned out those four kids like to eat, so I had to put food on the table, you know. The bank wanted my house paid for, so I had to deal with that, you know, typical things everyone deals with. So um, when that happened, you know, a lot of folks laughed at me and told me you shouldn't do those kind of businesses, blah, blah. Um, but I sat down and said, you know what? Those 35 people, not one of those folks is going to come up and offer to pay my mortgage, buy my groceries, or any other bill that I have. It's up to me to figure out how to make that happen. Yeah. I was listening to stories. Um, the one good thing that I, I did plug into is stories. Uh, when I first got involved in the business, I, when I was ordering some product, uh, the gal on the phone told me about the fact that we have had um, uh, conferences going on. Um, at the time I got started, I understand that my upline here was really not I, I'm not sure who knew less, me or him, but uh, <laughs> it was pretty, uh, pretty elementary back then. So I, I decided that, you know, I go to engineering conferences to learn how to become a better engineer and stay abreast of what's going on. So I, if I'm going to be in a business, I better do the same thing. So when I found out that I could attend a conference and the price was laughable compared to any engineering conference I ever went to. So I went immediately to that conference, but I went there with a goal in mind. And I watched the folks who went across the stage and where they sat. And at break time, I walked up to them rather than walking out the door. And I introduced myself and said, what do you know that I don't understand? Wow. And I started, and I started putting together the common threads. And what I heard was that people were keeping it simple. And, uh, and uh, in fact, one of, one of the uh, ambassadors, if I mention his name, you know who he was. He said to me, Tom, you got to stop being an engineer. <laughs> you know, just got to be a person. So I, I came back from that and I said, you know what? Uh, I sat down and went through it, mark, taught myself how to share the marketing plan on, on one sheet of half a sheet of paper, really. And so I can do this. And so I sat down and said, if I'm going to build this business, I need to find folks that think like I do. So I called up friends that I knew. Uh, some of them were, were golfing partners. Some of them were guys that I helped coach, I coach with during uh, Little League Baseball back then. Um, some are colleagues at work, uh, a couple neighbors. And I said, I'm looking for some folks that want to get involved in, in uh, building a team business-wise. And I'm inviting you over and your wife to meet my wife and take a look at this, uh, an idea. And when I came over, I literally sat him down in my living room. I put, took out a, uh, on, a, on the coffee table that piece of paper. I said, here's the business idea. Here's how I can see us making money. Here's the kind of money I think we can make. And then I reached under the table and pulled up my can of colliding. and said, this is what's going to drive that. And let me tell you how I learned about this product. And, and went from there. And I said, if you want to go along with me, I'm look, that's why you're here. I invite you because I trust you. Uh, and if you want to bring someone next week, we'll do the same thing again. And I started doing that every week for six weeks and uh, moved my master affiliate order, had $1,000 of profit in the pocket and four distributors and a handful of customers. And we just continued that process. And, uh, and those who wanted to do the same thing, we just said, let's, let's just follow our example. So that's, that's kind of how I got there. Did I lose you? I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> but, but Tom, that, that's incredible. And see, here's what, here's what, it, it, what's so powerful is that you know, both you and Melanie were willing to take a look at yourselves and say, okay, I did this. It didn't work. It didn't create the results that I'm after. So what could I try next? Who could I talk to? Who do I need to look at? And see, I love that you, you said, you know, I, I was at this conference and I, and I watched all the people who are going across the stage and I, I watched where they were sitting and I went up to them during the break and I said, what do you know that I don't understand? Yeah. Wow. You talk about powerful statement. That's powerful, Tom. Am I, am I still there? You are. You are. Okay. And, uh, and, and, and the greatest thing about doing that was that those folks were perfectly willing to talk to me, even though I had no financial ties to them. They were gracious and open and just as friendly as they could be. And it showed me the, the, the uh, flavor of really wanted me to be a part of that group. Fantastic. Well, Tom, thank you so much for sharing. It's awesome. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and you know, guys, as, we, as, we, as we've heard Melanie and Tom talk about how they keep their real business simple and what simple means to them, you know what's really cool about both of their conversations? 
Melanie, Melanie's doing social media. Tom is, is doing person to person, face to face. And you know what's, what's good about both of their stories? They're both right. They're both right. Neither one of them are wrong. And see, see, here's the challenge, guys. Here's the challenge that each one of us face is to find what works for us to build relive and to do that. And see, as you, as you step into the relive world and we start having more conferences, we've got, you know, April in April, we've got Atlanta coming up. You could go into that room in April, that conference, and you're going to see people, you know, there may be a couple hundred people in there and there may be 50 different ways that they're all doing the business. And you know what's right is that they're all right because it works for them. And so as you guys go forward with Relive, I just encourage you, discover what works for you and do it. Guys, I'll, I'll, I'll just share a quick story with you. When, when I came in to Relive, one of the things that, that a person came up to me one time and they said, Jim, you've got to throw away everything you've ever learned about working with people. And I was, I was shocked. And I said, why? And they said, well, network marketing and corporate America is different. And I said, but isn't working with people in both realms the same? Caring for people? And then I realized, Jim, don't argue with them. And see guys, what I learned in this business, one of the first things I learned is that everything I had done in my past had prepared me for my future, if I was willing to use it. And see, one of the, one of the gifts that I had been given in my previous business is that I had learned how to build teams. I had learned how to encourage people. I'd encouraged, I'd learned how to support people in many different ways. I learned that putting a sprayer together was a simple process, but I could put five guys out in the shop and each one of them had their own little separate way of doing it, but it all worked because the sprayer got put together. And so guys, just know that as you go forward, Find what it is that works for you and do it. Discover in your heart, in your mind, and in your soul what it is about Relive that you love. And go share that with people. See, you heard Melanie doing that. She's discovered what she, she loves about Relive, and she's sharing that with masses of people. What did Tom figure out how to do? He discovered what he loved about Relive and he discovered in his own way how he could do that. But guys, it's been, this has been awesome. It's been an honor to be with you guys. Uh, Mindy, if you could come back on and, but, but guys share with everybody, uh, just go share with people. Don't be afraid, take a chance. And I, uh, I love that one statement that Mindy, that Melanie used. If you have fear, come here. If you have fear, come here. Oh my God. Create environments that people can thrive in, guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, hey, uh, that's all I have for everybody today. And I just want to say, Melanie, Tom, and Mindy, and Kim, thank you all. Mindy, thank you for taking care of all of the, the electronic end of this so the rest of it <laughs> could act. Sorry, I muted you in the middle of your talk. <laughs> I was trying to meet another participant, and I needed you okay. by accident. Sorry about that. Great okay. job. Okay. Thank you. you. Guys have a great day.